Hey everybody, Corey Jenkins here with WP Zone. And in this video, we are continuing our series of Divi and WordPress code snippets. We have a really uh, handy section of our website over at WPZone.co. And it's a Divi and WordPress uh, snippets uh, tutorial section that we have with all kinds of useful tutorials such as this. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a masonry gallery layout with a standard Divi gallery module. So by default, the gallery module is just kind of a standard uh, image gallery, which means that the images have uh, fixed widths and heights and everything is real linear and uniform. And a masonry gallery layout will kind of uh, stagger, give it that staggering effect. So the images can have, uh, can have different proportions. Um, and it gives you like a real clean kind of modern uh, gallery layout that's not quite as boring as the traditional gallery. So we're going to show you how to do that using Divi's gallery module and a quick and easy CSS code snippet that I will show you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are on our uh, development website where I'll be uh, creating the, uh, the masonry gallery. And you can see here, we've already created the page and we've got the, uh, the Divi Visual Builder enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new row and we're just gonna choose a single column row. And then we're gonna uh, add the, the gallery module. So we're gonna add that. Um, so when you first add the gallery module, you'll see it just grabs uh, some images uh, from, your, from your media gallery. Uh, usually it just grabs like the first images that are in the gallery, the oldest images. Um, so we're going to add our own images uh, for this uh, for this tutorial. And in our media library, we have some uh, some really nice looking wedding photos. And it'll take just a minute for those to load. I apologize. Uh, my internet is running just a little bit slow at this moment. Okay, so here's the images that we're gonna use. I'm gonna select all of these, uh, these wedding photos. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm gonna add those uh, to, the, to the gallery. You can see that they've shown up here. Now, you can see down here, we do have some pagination. Uh, we've got some stuff we don't want in there, like the titles underneath. So I'm gonna first change the image count. I'm gonna change that to 12. Um, so obviously we don't have 12 photos here, but if I do want to add more photos in the future, I won't have to adjust that. Uh, you could you could even raise that up even more if you'd like. Uh, and then underneath in the elements, uh, we're going to turn off the titles and captions, and we're going to turn off the pad. Oops, turn off the pagination. Um, that way, if we do add more photos, I don't really want that uh, pagination showing at the bottom. Okay, so. That's really it. All we have to do to create our gallery. So you can see this is just the standard um, gallery module here. So even though the pictures are different heights and stuff, this still will push the shorter pictures uh, down below, you know, to the next row. So we've got this huge gap here uh, between the images, and we don't want that. We want uh, we want a real nice, clean-looking uh, masonry gallery. Okay, so next we are going to head over to uh, to WP Zone, and I do have this uh, page linked uh, underneath the video. So head on over there, and uh, and you can you can see the tutorial and grab the code. Um, if you want to check out our other tutorials, uh, just go under Start here at WPZone.co, and go to Divi Code Snippets, and we've got all kinds of like really useful uh, WordPress and Divi tutorials uh, that you can follow here. And uh, there's a lot of really useful stuff there. Okay, so moving on, um, we're just going to kind of go down the tutorial here. We've already uh, added our, our gallery, uh, the gallery module. So the next step is we're going to add the, uh, the CSS code. So those of you who have used Divi, you know that there's uh, a few different options for adding CSS to your website. Uh, Divi provides the custom CSS box and the Divi theme options. You've got the advanced options tab of the section sections, rows, uh, individual modules, uh, the Divi Builder page settings of an individual page. If you have a child theme, you can add this to the uh, style CSS. And you can also add CSS with a, with a plugin. 
uh, like our custom CSS and JavaScript uh, plugin that we have. So if this is an effect that you want to apply to the entire website and have this uh, apply to uh, to all the galleries, you're going to be creating galleries on different pages. Uh, I would highly suggest adding this to the uh, either the Divi theme options uh, or to the uh, to your child theme, the style CSS file. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to apply it to this particular page. So we're going to use the Divi Builder page settings of this page that we're working on. Um, this website we're using for different tutorials. I don't want this to apply uh, to other pages and to other galleries. So we're just going to uh, we're just going to use that um, the uh, the page settings of of the page that we're working on. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is grab uh, the CSS here. And um, and then we're going to uh, paste this uh, in to the page settings. So you can see here, this uh, has some different uh, elements to it. We're changing the column count, changing the gap uh, between between the, uh, the rows of images. Uh, we've got some media queries, and then just like width and margin down here. So uh, we want to uh, copy this to our clipboard. And then we are going to uh, to head over to back to our website. And we are gonna open up uh, down here. You've got uh, this little purple icon with three dots. We're gonna click on that. And you can see this uh, settings, uh, the gear icon here for the page settings. We're gonna click on that and paste it uh, into our page settings. So uh, I already have the, uh, the code in here. Um, and yeah, you just basically copy and paste it uh, into the page settings or into your theme options or style CSS of your website. So I've already got that in there. So I'm just gonna check that green box, make sure, make sure that it's saved. The next thing that we need to do is to add the, uh, the CSS class to this row. So that's gonna, that's gonna link uh, this row with that CSS class and allow that code that we just put in to target this particular row. So we are gonna grab um, down here, add the custom CSS class in step three. And I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to copy this class right here. When you paste it in, you're not going to use the uh, the dot um, right before the selector. You're going to you're going to grab that and paste it without that. So just make sure that you're doing that, or else or else it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to click on the row settings, and under the advanced tab, we're going to go to CSS ID and classes, and we're going to paste that in right here. And boom, you can see that this has already transformed uh, into the masonry layout. Let me just remove that real quick again. So there we have the, the standard gallery. And then we have the masonry layout. So uh, as you can see here, this is real nice and clean. Uh, even though we have uh, staggered heights of these images, uh, it's keeping this layout uh, real fluid and modern looking. And this is the exact look that we were going for. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, save save your page, and you have yourself a masonry style gallery. All right. Well, there you have it. As easy as, as that, we've transformed the uh, standard Divi gallery module into a beautiful uh, masonry gallery layout. Just took a couple of uh, quick, simple steps. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, we'd appreciate it if you liked uh, this video and subscribed to our channel. And then head over to WPZone.co, where we have a bunch of other uh, handy snippets and tutorials just like this one. So thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.